Alright, I never expected to really come back to this game. Uh, I'm gonna give it one last shot. That's all I'm saying about that. This is the last time I'm gonna give it a shot. See if it if it picks up, then maybe I'll actually get back into it. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna drop it. Uh, Cause I, I this is one of those games. There's multiple games that have been like this for me where I had really high expectations, and that's probably obvious if you're jumping from the first and second parts to this part, which is like five months later. Uh, I had really high expectations for this game, and then nothing happened in the game. It was really, really disappointing. Uh, the only other few games that have done that to me was, and I, I kind of knew it would happen Forefront with Secret of Mana PS4, but games like Rodea the Sky Soldier is pretty much a photocopy of this where I had extremely high expectations and it was something not too good. Uh, and it just, ugh. it just left a bad taste in my mouth. And I was mainly surprised. I didn't even realize it till after I streamed it those first two times. There was a collector's edition about this. I saw no publications about that. And then I just found it just start popping up on eBay and such. And I was just like, what the heck? I'm not going to buy it. It's garbage. But it's just like, I where I guess it was sold on Bandai Namco's website. I mean, that's how I got Nino Cooney's uh, collector's edition. It's just weird. Yeah, 322. <laughs> I've played for about, I think, two hours. Yeah, almost three hours. Jesus, that's chapter six already. I don't know how many chapters of, there are, but that's pretty far in my books. Uh, in my book, in general, for story progression, that'd be like, almost at the end of Red Dead, that would be like halfway through Unlimited Adventure. Hmm. I forgot what... I, I remember getting Frankie out, but that was about all I remember from this. I don't know, this game just seems so dead in my opinion. Just there's nothing to do. The world is... Yeah, the world's big, but there's nothing to do in it. I think I said, I'm not sure if I said it on stream, but it reminds me of, uh, I think I told my, uh, well, not, nah, I think I told one of my friends this, uh, that it just felt like a Steel City. Oh. It just felt like a game from two generations ago that was slapped onto current generation in philosophy. Like, yeah, the, bo the world's big. It looks, it, that's the thing, the game looks fine and beautiful. Uh, the world's massive. There's nothing to do in it, though. Like, you're given all this stuff, and all you can do is talk to a few NPCs and kind of look at stuff. And even then, a lot of this scenery repeats, repeats itself after a while. It's, uh, very annoying. So we'll see how this turns out. I forgot to uh, start recording for YouTube, so I'm going to have to splice this together with the stream file with the recording I'm now doing. <laughs> Fun. Extra work. Man in a big yellow hat? <sighs> to be honest, I hate that there are slums here. What kind of a rich prick are you? Or, or are you like, no, everybody should be equal. There's no telling what they'll try to pull, you know? Nope, he's the rich prick kind. Oh, man, that's... I forgot about... That is insane to me. There's no music. I was hope Deep in my soul, I was kind of hoping that they would patch in music or something later on, which I knew at the time would never happen. But... There's nothing. You know, I might actually get a strike for this, but uh, I own the complete One Piece soundtrack. From uh, I I own it on CD. Uh, where is it? There it is. You know what should be playing? 
This right here should be playing. How can you have One Piece and not have this music? I don't care if this gets copyright on, on YouTube. This is a throwaway video in my case anyway. I'm just playing this just to see if anything's better or if I'm remembering it right. Like, this in itself makes things ten times better. Oh, and... Now that I have this open, I may as well change it on the fly for incidents. Like, seriously, how do you screw up this big with a game? Especially as... I, I can't believe they put 60 bucks on this when it came out. This should have been like a 30 to $40 game. And even then, if I knew this, I probably would have bought it at like 20 I don't know. I'm a major... One, One Piece is my favorite anime, and uh, I've never read the manga. I've read... I have an art book about it. I love Ichiroda's work. But... The anime is my favorite anime. And maybe it's it kind of coincides with Space Dandy. I think One Piece is more just for nostalgia. But it's brilliant still. Like, how do you make a game like this and not have music in it? I don't think this is fitting, though. This does. God damn, this this soundtrack is is one of the best that I've ever heard. Ah! Seriously, this is great. Now I'm just enjoying the soundtrack like I would in my off time. <laughs> Can I latch up here anywhere? I can't. Like, this is what makes One Piece an adventure, is... Fantastic characters, great setting, music, plot. I can already tell you this is making it ten times better, in my opinion. Ah, oh, I love this. And it's not even the game itself, it's just the music. Who are you? Jill the Informed. When you visit somewhere new, you should try talking to everyone you meet. You just might learn something completely unexpected. I might actually play this longer now that I have this music going. <laughs> Who are these guys? There's... Oh, are these... I forgot, there's like weird fancy kids in this. Green-haired swordsman's not here anymore. The art piece in the plaza is made from stone mined right here on the island. You might be able to find the same sort of stones if you search the larger rocky areas. Who 
Who's this dude? They say the warden comes to our island after the world government appointed him warden. Okay. Very redundant sentence. He must be a man of amazing talents for them to appoint him to such an important position. Oh, I forgot. One, one really impressive thing that the uh, One Piece soundtrack has, it's... It's... Grub. Oh. No, oh, just, just take food. That's Luffy. Uh, for Kohei Tanaka and Shiro Hamaguchi, they composed a lot, if not the majority, of the soundtrack for One Piece, the TV series. A lot, if not the majority of the music compositions they made, are technically two pieces in one. Like, the first half of a song will be something, and then another half. It's a smart way to, uh keep the amount of tracks small, but utilize them well enough to have a lot of music for a show. Ah, uh, we got snipers. The music's not fitting. Like, One Piece is all about, uh, that kind of adventure, endless bounds kind of thing. I haven't kept up with One Piece in about two years, just because I, I kind of, after Punk Hazard, I kind of fell off and went back to rewatch the dub of everything. And I love the dub, honestly, a lot more than the Japanese version. I'm not sure why, I just, I, I like the voice actors. They're good for what, for the characters. They, to me, they bring out a bit more emotion. But, uh, the whole series is just kind of that kind of attitude of seafaring and having fun with friends. An endless adventure. That's what makes it great to me. At this point, I'm just kind of running around because I honestly don't know where to go. Oh, I guess I can go this way. I try getting up there. Oh, he's gone. Oof. That sucks. Where is he? He's over there. Let's get back to happy music now. Hey, there's a dude here. I'm just gonna run through here.
Okay, given how this is actually a larger fight, I'm gonna swap over to something a bit more appropriate. There we go. Thanks, PlayStation. This is my favorite song in the series. This music comes on, you know shit got real. Oh, I forgot you have to hold it down to interact. That is... There's so many old conventions in this game that just don't make any sense. Between holding down to open something like that, the design overall of the NPC placements and the enemy placements... I w that's the biggest annoyance. Is with games like this, I want to like them, but I can't because of how badly they're optimized and or designed. Ugh. That's a good song for here. Uh, maybe this? I guess this will do. The heck is this thing here? Can climb it. But what does it do? This has become One Piece Radio, serving you the hottest tracks from One Piece the Animated Series. These guys look pretty tough. Trenches. It's like they're ready for war. Here's the second half of the song. Oh, 
That dude all the way over there saw me, huh? Ah, missed him. That's another annoying thing, is that the... Oh, that's new. Oh, that dude's massive. That's the other thing, is that the story for this game doesn't really seem that... Like... Inspired by a whole lot. It's just... What, what was that? There's like a frame of a glitch on Luffy. Gotta fight that big dude. Probably die. Oh yeah, he's really strong. I'm gonna die here probably now. Oh, he's got a sniper too. No, wrong music. Hey, this'll do, I guess. Gonna maybe speed it up. Appropriate timing. I was messing with the music and not paying attention. Hmm. Okay, now I think I'll actually try to look for what I need to do. It's a little late to kick in music. I'll put a stop to that for the time being. <laughs> it's just a loading screen. It doesn't need something like that. that. That's my point, though, is that the music makes the game in... Like, even Spyro, just right before this, the music was really calm, chill, comforting, and it made the experience a lot better. In this... Yeah, you get this jingle, and then it goes away. Like, if this kept playing, that'd be good, but it doesn't. It has, like, a one-minute run, and then it just stops. So, I'm guessing, given how I just kind of found Frankie... I not actually... I don't actually remember how I found Frankie exactly. I know where he was. I don't remember what led me to him. Hey, guys. Yeah, there's battle music, but that gets repetitive pretty quick. Surprised I haven't seen any world government guys like I did last time. I remember that. Good old cowboys. Yeah, there it goes. Just stops. Just stops right there. Nothing else. Nope, sorry. Nothing. Meanwhile, yeah, you could have something like... And I know I already played this a little bit last time, but... Is this not more appropriate?
That's where I got Frank. So now I need to find out where to get somebody else. There's a thousand sun here. I'm gonna head here. Well, actually, I'm not sure what. I don't know what any of these do. Like, what's the difference between the red ones and the blue ones? I guess I'll go to that. I don't know what that is. But all right. Sure, what the second half of this song is. Oh, it's this. That'll still do. Oh, it's like events. Uh, yeah, not going up there. I like how the battle music's still going on in the background. Making me want to watch One Piece now. God damn it. Sexy fat, uh, sexy sax. Oh, Jean, forgot about you. Did you find anything out about them? Sorry, no luck so far. How about you, Luffy? Any idea where they might be? For example, if they like to eat, maybe they'd be at a restaurant. If they like to sleep, maybe they'd be at an inn, and so on. Speak of the devil! Wow! A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my lady. I'm Sanji, your knight of true love. Ah, I see. Sanji! Yeah, Sanji! Holy shit, I summoned him with music! <laughs> Luffy, you're alright. Ah, uh, Luffy, do you know this guy? Is our chef. Luffy, when did you get to know this gorgeous lady? She picked me up after I fell from the sky prison into the sea. Oh, you fell into the sea? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Did she give you mouth to mouth? I fell from the sky too. Why do you get to have all the fun? Damn it all. I never thought I'd be this jealous of a devil fruit user. Um, oops. I appear to have caught you at a bad time, milady. Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Sanji, your knight of true love and the straw hat pirate's cook. I'm Jean. Nice to meet you, Sanji. Jean! What a beautiful name! Sanji. What were you doing here, Sanji? Oh. I looked around Emerald Town thinking I might find Nami and the others there. And, But the sailors kept holding me up. Come to think of it, those guys did drop some things that looked like they could come. They could be Navy detect direct. La la la. Speak English. Things that look like they could be Navy directives. So but I. unfortunately, they're written in code, so I have no idea what any of it means. It must be classified information. Nani, nani. Code. Mind if I have a look? You mean you can decipher it? Eh? 
I'm the anti-Navy leader, after all. I have my sources. You're amazing, Gene. Absolutely amazing. Classified information? You mean like a treasure map? Wait, that's strange. These directives are incomplete. You're kidding. It says part of one of three, so there must be two other parts around somewhere. Oh, goody, a fetch quest. There's a real possibility that the rest might contain info on us, or what the Navy might be up to. If they do contain information on the Navy's doings, they could be invaluable. Got it. Come on, Sanji. Let's go find those other two parts. Anything to help Jean. All right, let's start by splitting up and searching Emerald Town. Be careful, you two. A lot of sailors live in Emerald Town now. No wonder there were so many of them. Don't worry. We'll find them and be back in no time. Hey, maybe Mas... Who? Maybe Masubi? We'll have an idea? Who's Masubi? Yeah, I'm with Luffy. Who's Masubi? She's the woman who's always gathering ingredients for her children's lunches around here. Okay, yeah, like everyone would know that. She walks around here a lot, so she might have seen the other parts of the directives. Lunch? Think I could get a lunch from her too? I believe Masubi's house is on the 5th street in Emerald Town. You can see which street it's from in the sign in the bottom of the stairs. Masubi's children are playing near 5th Street, so you might be able to ask them where her house is. Alright, let's go find Masubi and get some lunch. Oh, and the rest of the directives. I have summoned a Sanji with his own theme song. How the fuck did that happen? That was amazing. Where are you guys running away from me? Coming up. Coming to get you. Oh. I forgot. I, I haven't said anything, but I completely forgot this thing has Spyro. Uh, a new beginning slow mo fighting thing. Still a good touch, it's just weird. So I guess the blue ones are like events that happened then, and then the red ones are actual events. If so, then I'm actually just gonna head to uh, this and see if there's anything. Let's get some travel music, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot it starts out like that. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This music, this music is what dreams are made of. Well, ah, this might not be fitting music.
still not really fitting music. I think I'll switch to something a bit more fitting. Get this guy off guard, maybe. Uh, I'm not gonna install that update. Oh, it's this whole town now wants a fight. Dude, way over here. Guess that'll do. Nah, nah, nah. I want to pick a fight with them. Oh, there's a turret in the middle of town. That's all I'll do here. I have no idea what this place is or why there's so many people here. I forgot you can dodge like that. This whole time I've been getting hit by bolts and you can dodge. Yeah, hit the headphone a bit. That steel drum. <laughs> no, don't jump in there, that's bad. I'm actually played this a bit longer than I expected to. Fighting someone himself? Oh, it's Zoro. I guess Zoro is this way. Yeah, 
There's Zoro. I'm gonna pause that for this in case it's a important cutscene. <clears throat> Not that I care too much, but. Well, I'm impressed you're this strong without using hockey. Oi. Does it have something to do with that odd-looking suit of yours? Oh. Pirate Hunter Zoro, I had heard that you were skilled, but you're even better than I thought. <laughs> Your data should be quite useful. It was worth collecting it myself. It appears that your captain has arrived. That's enough. I'm done dealing with you. Where do you think you're going? Unlike you lot, I'm a busy man. If you still crave action, you can help with the re you can help with their test run. Test run of what? Oh, we got Iron Man here. Are they more Vega Punk creations? Any music? Man, those robots were awesome. I wonder where they were. Whose they were. Eh. Oh. That guy, the one who sent him out, he's from the Navy, right? Zoro! Zoro, where's that robot guy? Oh. I lost sight of him while I was dealing with the sailors. Nanda. He's the warden of this island, right? Why isn't he trying to capture us? No idea. But he said he was busy. Maybe he's chasing some pirates or something. Hey. We're pirates too, you know. Oh, Luffy. oh, before I forget, I've got something for you. Nanda. A key. Oh. It's a key to the prison tower cell. That's where they're keeping Robin. Oh. Really? So she's alright? Oh. She's fine. She asked me to get the key for her cell, and I was just on my way back. Before I knew it, I found myself outside the prison. <laughs> That's just like you, Zoro. Alright then, let's go rescue Robin. Yeah, go for it. Huh? You're not coming. You don't need me for that, do you? I'm gonna I'm going after the warden. There's something fishy about him. You go spring Robin. Alright. Alright, Zoro, whatever. Gotcha. Luffy. Luffy, you're in the prison tower now, aren't you? All the sailors are talking about it. Ah. Yep, sure am. I'm here to rescue Robin. I don't know where, there's, where her cell is. Which way do I go? In that case, head to Ruby Village. I'll head to Ruby Village too and do what I can to help you. I'll leave my baby transponder snail on if you can talk to me whenever you need. Arigatou. Thanks, Jean. Alright, see you later. Mm. There's no way in. Prison tower is vented in the ceiling. You can get on. You can get in from on top. All right, I'll try climbing along the wall. I guess this. Maybe. I can't move anywhere else. Oh, maybe this.
His arm was wigging. Okay, I luckily made it into a load zone. <laughs> All right, I made it. Way to go, Luffy. So Robin's somewhere in that prison, huh? She should be, although I don't know which cell. That's okay, I can sense if anyone's around. Uh, I'm actually kind of in the mood to just stop. I can see what this is going for. Just go to these various locations, free the crew, and then after you do that, maybe the story continues. But I, honestly, this is way... If this is an introduction in just getting all the characters again, like, Unlimited Adventure did it right, where it was took like an hour just to get everybody, and it was pretty concise. This is it's way too long just to do a very basic introduction. If this is supposed to be part of the game, then it's not fun. Like, to me, getting the crew members, which, yeah, you do in... You do for the majority of uh, Unlimited World Red, but that is coincided with a lot of boss battles throughout the levels. Like, when you go to, uh, when you go to Punk Hazard in Red World, uh, Unlimited World Red, you have, like, three... You have, like, two or three boss battles. You have the dragon in the middle of the island, and then you have, uh... Oh god, it's been so long I'm forgetting his name. Caesar Clown. You have Caesar Clown at the end of the island. And it's just, like, the only boss I can say... I wouldn't even say that, uh... That Pacifista that I fought... When I saved Frankie, I wouldn't even call that a boss. That was, that was more a mini-boss. It was way too easy. And I just stunlocked the frickin' thing. Like, the only boss I would even say was, uh, Smoker so far, and that was still pretty easy as well. So I think I'm just going to call it here. I'm going to leave Robin to rot. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's One Piece Unlimited World Red. I don't really like this game a whole lot, as obvious. Although I have streamed it three times somehow because I really wanted to like it. But even doing it for another 40 minutes, well after I originally played it, my opinion has not changed. Uh... I spruced it up a bit and made me... It, the only reason I played this long was because I played the music, which kind of motivated me with the, the scenery to keep playing. <laughs> but aside from that, no, I'm not a fan of this. Maybe it's a good $20 game, but it also seems very long. Uh, like, in total, I've probably played this for around five hours now, and I've barely done anything in the game. It feels like so there, there's not a whole lot of reward for what you're doing it feels like but that's just me maybe someone else oh, pardon me <clears throat> maybe someone else would uh like this game i'm a big one piece fan but i don't really see any enjoyment in this like if you slap dragon ball over this if you slap naruto over this you you slap toriko any other thing over this, even then it still wouldn't be that good. It, it's the game itself. If you skin away all the characters, the art, it's uh, not fun. So that's all I have to say about this. And I think that's it. We'll, we'll see if uh, in, in the next stream I'll get back and see if uh, either Bandai Namco 
uh, Toei anybody claims the music for this thing. <laughs> if they do, I don't mind. I don't care. Uh, now if I get like copyright strikes that take down the video, that would be more annoying, but even then I wouldn't really count it as much of a loss. Uh, just because I don't care about this game, honestly. The ta lost time would be annoying, but that's about it. And I had I had a little bit of fun with this, just running around in One Piece music while playing as Luffy. That was the, pretty much the only enjoyment I had in this, and the fighting is really simple but fine. So, guess I'll call it here. Thanks for watching, and have a good night. See you later. This is my new outro, by the way. So, uh, yeah, it looks nice. Probably use it at the end of streams, but, uh, yeah. See you later.